Okay, and this is going to be another sock light video. Why not? Day. Well, it'll be day 69, won't it? Yeah, day 69 of the sock. 69? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucking fellatio cunnilingus day for sure. Um, this is our recycle bin. As you'll notice, it's just been the, as witnessed by these tools and parts here, the victim of one of Zan's famous modifications. Well, actually, yes, modified, but, but it's not by will. Oh, I really felt I needed more performance out of my recycle bin, so I'd modify it. No, it's not like that. It's a modification via lash up emergency must do repair with hopefully some strengthening to avoid the same thing happening in the near future. So the recycle crews have been happily throwing this bin down off the truck for a while and um, as you can see it's got broken. Originally I had this board here patching it on the inside, there was just a crack there but when this whole corner all came apart and the bin fell apart we couldn't even put the bin out or, or one more use and it would have fallen to pieces completely you know pieces of shit I mean you know maybe maybe the guys in the truck should be more careful which is why I've put this fragile sticker on to remind them of that and I don't think it just applies to my repaired bin which may well be stronger than a stock bin but Here's the issue. This is a recycling bin. And for the great feel good fucking gayness of Agenda 21 recycling, the recycle bin is made from recycled plastic. Isn't that ironic? So at some point, I guess the plastic that made this bin would have been in another bin like this made from recycled plastic, you know? I mean, isn't it just feel good, you know, but the issue here is these guys in the truck are pretty rough with these bins and of necessity, because they've got to empty so many bins, they don't have the time to gently put the bin down. So one would think that if something like this, even though it's meant for holding plastic that's about to be recycled, it's meant for a pretty heavy duty usage. It should be made from something better than fucking piece of shit poly resin crap made in, you know, well it's made in New Zealand but that's, that's beside the point really. It should be made from high quality virgin ABS or something, you know, not, not piece, of, piece of shit brittle blooming fragile. That's why I put the sticker on there, fragile crap that just causes endless problems as these bins break up. And here's the real sinister thing, you, you, you're probably going, um, why didn't you just get another bin? Well, guess where you get the bins from? The council, because it's a council recycling scheme. Well, there was a flyer that came out when these bins were first issued, back when we were living in Foxton Beach. And, well, it was the first thing that went in the recycle bin, actually. I thought that was a great laugh, but I guess now the joke's on me, because I wish I still had that flyer, because... It said in that flyer, if you require another recycle bin, you can get one from the council for $15. And I thought, well, you know, that's fair enough if you want to be piggy and put out two or three bins and you want additional bins. No, you know, 15 bucks extra bin, not a bad deal. But for your own bin, if it gets damaged or stolen, they should reissue it for free. But of course the problem is, is that... Stolen's an issue, but damaged is not because you could take your damaged bin to them and go look here's my damaged bin Swap it for a new one, please But they won't But if you currently look on the horror for newer district council's website You'll find that if you lose your original bin now You'll get a replacement bin and it will cost you $53, but get this $53 per year added to your rates. So, well, at least I think it's added to your rates. And Baffy looked that up. I 
didn't eyeball it myself, but $53. So there's no way as I'm going to go to the council and get a new bin and start paying them $53 a year for something which should be free because after all, all the plastic that goes in here, they either sell it to China or somewhere and someone makes a profit on it somewhere. It is not a costly service to them. You know, it's a valuable material you're putting in here. Plastic, aluminium, steel, you know, paper, I don't know. Glass apparently is the, the, the least worthful because um, virgin glass can be made cheaper than recycled glass. So really, glass is actually the worst. So all you greenies that think glass is better for the environment than plastic, you're wrong. You're totally wrong. <laughs> Glass creates the biggest problem in the recycle bins. Glass is better, yes, if you do like they used to do with the milk bottles and clean them out and reuse it several times before destroying it. Then, yes, but a one-use glass, no, plastic beats it hands down for environmental issues. Not that I really care that much about in the environment in that way. Well, not in an Agenda 21 way, anyway. So, there's my bin. There's my mods, use this old plastic bin, hopefully this will stand up to the abuse. Bit of PVC drain pipe, just, I could have used a bit of 4 by 2 there, save that drain pipe for something else, but of course I wanted to make it light as possible so its own weight doesn't help the recycled crews destroy it. And I have really resisted the urge to call them the MMs. I, okay, well let's call them the MMs. Oh, the recycled crew are the MM, I'm not going to tell you what MM stands for, um, you've got to be in the know for that. But the MMs, you know. But here's the thing. I've put this on here, and you may be questioning my wisdom. Aren't you just asking them to treat it roughly by putting such a sticker on there? And yes and no, yes I am. And no, I'm not. You know, I've put this on there for a couple of reasons. One reason is to prove the point that this, this whole bin is fragile. This crappy green material which we've been over. But the other point is, is, is it's a polite, well not overly polite, but it's not overly dispolite either. Um, you know, things saying to the, to the, to the MMs, um, you know, please be a little bit more careful with this bin, because I don't want to have to spend next week fixing it before I put it out again, and the week after, and the week after, and the week after. It's, you know, it's... <sighs> but of course, no one these days interprets the request like as, as a fair request you know it's just like this this sign is telling you this bin's fragile which is essentially requesting you to just show it a little bit of care but of course they interpret it as you are ordering them to show this bin some care you know don't you fucking treat my bin with disrespect cunt or I'll smash your bloody head in you know um well, no one's going to tell me that. I'll just throw this bin down and kick it, you know. But, you know, it's not a command, you know. Yeah, people are so used to being told what to do now in society that they will only do what they're told when the person telling them to do what they're told has got such absolute power over them that they can't really resist. And as soon as anyone asks someone to do something that doesn't have the absolute power... They see that as a good opportunity to buck them and throw it back in their face, to just to get a little bit back on how they feel they'll be forced to do things. But usually the problem is, is that the person that's asking you to do something that doesn't have absolute power over you might, might be a friend or a family member, and they're not they're not going to be a pig or a fucking some sort of fucking cunt lording it over you, you know. So, but this is besides the point of this video. Um, this is my recycle bin. I'm now going to fill the cunt up with fucking recycling and put it out and I guess I've got this handy dandy pocket here I can put segregate things maybe even make the job of the MMs a little easier who knows but I better go and put it out this is a fucking long video I, I can rant and rave can't I but this is not a solar video so I'm not too concerned about making the video you know YouTube friendly even though I'm going to put it up yeah Oh well, you're looking at the empty bin, but this is after the MMs have emptied it. And I wouldn't have made this video at all, it wouldn't have been very remarkable, the bin survived perfectly. 
as I expected. I mean, I mean, when I do stuff, I usually try to do as well as I can with the materials, time, and stuff available. But there's something weird that's happened. Now, you remember in the last video, I bound leaky tape around here to bind these together. For some reason, they tried to take it off. And actually, you can see here, there's actually a knife evidence that someone's used a blade to cut the tape off. They haven't unbound it, they've cut it off. Now, why the hell would they do that? Were they trying to take this bin? Are they so stupid that they had to take the tape off before they realised that there's like umpteen screws holding this thing together and what, are they going to stand out there with a screwdriver dismantling my work?